Hello to you all, welcome back to the channel, thank you very much for clicking on this video. Wow, this is a first for me, and one that's definitely on my bucket list. It's been a very emotional, uh, very emotional day, and I'll let you know why. So, we're heading uh, north today on the mighty 800 Tiger, I do love this bike, up near Poke, nice and comfortable, got a little Budsy, hey Buds, and uh, the reason why it's such an emotional day, and the fact that uh, this is a first for me, is uh, my dad arrived in the UK yesterday, or well, yesterday evening, and he's ridden all the way from uh, Spain, bless him, and uh, this was the first time we've ever ridden together. That, and I haven't seen him for four years, 2018 was the last time I saw him in person. So when he arrived last night, I've got to say, it was very emotional. Love my dad to bits. He really is a top man, and he's always done right by me in everything I've ever done in my life. And uh, he's been living in Spain for the last 10 years now. Fortunately, my mum passed away in 2017 and uh, she got to live the dream for a while and uh, that brings us to today because uh, for 30 odd years my mum, bless her soul, rest in peace up there mum she wouldn't let him have a motorbike, he always had one as a young man but uh, she wouldn't let him have a motorbike for the last 30 years or her last 30 years on this planet. Late 2020, and my dad rings me up and he says, do you know what, son? I think I'm gonna get myself a motorbike. And I sort of laughed and I knew why. You know, he's, he's wanted one for so many years. And uh, out of respect for my mum, he never did. But uh, now I suppose he's, you know, he's living his life now. And, uh, I says to him, well, Dad, so, you know, you want to have a look at uh, maybe a Bonneville or even a Bobber. Which, uh, I reckon would suit you down to the ground. Plenty of power, quite low to the ground, quite uh, quite light. And uh, he said, oh, I'll go and have a look at them. We have a trial of dealership, not far from me. Anyway, a couple of weeks passed. And uh, my dad uh, FaceTimes me and he says, with a big smile on his face, until I've ordered my bike. I'm like, good on you. What you ordered? He says, well, it won't be arriving for about three months. So this will take you into March 2021 now. And he says, uh, I'll pick it up on the 1st of March. And I'm like, right, okay, so what are you picking up? He went, I bought myself an Honda Goldwing. <laughs> I'm like, part of me with jaw dropped, I was like, Dad. You're 74 years old. You haven't ridden for 30 odd years. Do you think an Honda Goldwing was the right choice? <laughs> he just smiled at me and he went, Son, you might as well go big or go home. And I just laughed. And bless him, he, uh, he's on a road trip. So he's ridden over from Spain. He got, uh, he rode to Bilboa from Alicante. Got the boat from Bilboa over to Portsmouth. No, in fact, he, over to Plymouth, and uh, he arrived at mine late yesterday evening. And he looks younger than me, bless him. Always makes me laugh, I call him Dorian Gray. He just don't seem to age, I seem to look older, and he seems to look younger. So, yeah, he's got himself, uh, you can see him just behind me in the mirror's look. Got himself a beautiful 2021 on the gold wing in beautiful red show you some pictures and uh, he's absolutely loving it I've got to say he is he's absolutely loving it it's given a new lease of life so today we're heading to North Wales because that's where his sister lives my aunt Julie so I said you know what dad I'll ride up with you tomorrow because I've got to take one off my bucket list we've never ridden together never had the opportunity so a little bit about the uh, the steed that I've got today. It's uh, actually my wife's bike, which is a beautiful example of a well looked after the Tiger 800 XRX, 
which is at the top of the range, top of the range at the time, there was that many different models in 2015, it was unreal, I just try and put so many out with different levels of spec. This one has a good level of spec, heated grips, spotlights, cruise control and uh, the guy that had this before has uh, definitely looked after it. And, uh, my wife's had it a year now, came with 9,000 miles on the clock in a beautiful gloss, sparkly black. He'd put uh, quite a few extras on it, everything that's on this bike he had pretty much put on it wasn't uh, anything really left for her to do. Uh, my wife has a, a sentimental attachment to this year and model as uh, she took the prototype version of this model to the Alps when we did the Grand Tour, which uh, she's a lucky bugger. I was supposed to take the XC but it didn't end up being registered in time so I actually went on my own bike which was a 2014 Explorer at the time and uh, I've got to say <laughs> hers was a lot more economical than mine and uh, she obviously got paid for it and got the fuel paid for so it was a bit of a working holiday I suppose so she's always had a very emotional attachment to this year and model and it is a beautiful bike uh, there's obviously a few things that uh, I didn't like in pre-production and there's still a few things that never got changed and I don't like about it but on the whole it is a beautiful machine to ride plenty of power nice and flickable handles the road it just corners lovely and uh, I'm glad that we kept um, a big bike in the family. Obviously I sold my 2012 which I absolutely loved. A lot more basic than this model and uh, I bought the Mighty Monkey. But, uh, yeah I'm glad we, we've kept one um, big bike and it's this one we kept. That's so I can pinch it whenever. Well whenever I ask nicely that is. She did say, look after my baby, and I went, oh Budsy will be alright, she went, I meant my bike. I was like, oh, okay. So, uh, so yeah, that's what I'm on. I've got muted grips on at the moment, it's rather nice. Quite a luxury. <laughs> I will, uh, I'll do a bit of a review on this, uh, in a separate video. Just tell you the things that I, uh, still disagree with and I don't like but so uh, we're still heading north we haven't had a break yet I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna find uh, Mackie D's or something on the way up maybe the Raven I'll stop at the Raven and uh, get the old man a coffee see how he's doing he's uh, seems to be holding the pace well enough and from what I can tell uh, in my mirrors, his position's good, <laughs> you know. For a 70 year old, well 75 year old man, he definitely ain't forgot how to ride. If you want an adventure, you go out there and have one, you know. Um, live your best life, that's for sure. So that's what we're doing, so uh, we're heading on the A5 at the moment. And. Uh, quite a nice mild day it was a beautiful blue sky but uh, that seems to have uh, faded away to a bit of grey Poser with his reverse gear. <laughs> Any buds? He a poser, kid. Is he a poser? I thought you might fancy a coffee. 
<laughs> oh no, Buds, he's in front now. But he knows where he's going, love. He really doesn't like following people. Maybe it's just the fact that he likes to be the leader of the pack. Leader of the pack! We're not far now from uh, my auntie's. I haven't seen her in a few years either. So today's not really an adventure to anywhere that's any of interest to you good people. I just thought I'd like to share with you that uh, I'm getting to ride with my dad for the first time in my life and I haven't seen him for four years. I've got to say, it has been a cracking day. Absolutely loved it. Someone that I spoke about for years tried to tempt him into getting a bike so we could go out riding together because he was a young man, he was a biker, he was a rocker and then uh, he was obviously a commuter and then uh, when he hit uh, his early 30s my mum says that's it no more motorbikes so yeah I used to say to him come on dad go motorbike we got riding together if you like son I'd love one but I'm not prepared to upset your mother and I sort of respect him for that you know but uh, like I say, she's gone now, God bless her soul. And <laughs> he's living his life, bless him. We stopped for a break and he is, uh, he is saying, well, my shoulders are hurting today. And I'm like, Dad, you rode from Spain yesterday. You know, the most he'll do in any one day when he's, he's at home is 400k, 450 at a push. You know, in lovely sunny weather and uh, he obviously had a lot of rain he come through last night it was soaked when he got to us but I could also see that he loved every minute and I think for him this is like the last opportunity I think in his mind he's going to get where he can come and do a UK tour on his bike like I say he's 75 now And I'm glad he has, because like I say, I haven't seen him for four years and it probably wouldn't get there to see him this year either. Just the way things are. So hopefully we'll get out there next year. And uh, I think I'm going to drive out and take the monkey with me. If I don't take the monkey, I'll just uh, I'll just hire a bike and uh, let him take me round his favourite road in Spain. That's for sure. He did say nothing's changed here. Still the same shit, different decade. They're all fucking mental. He says it doesn't matter what country you're in. Nobody knows. No car driver seems to know how islands work. And uh, do you know what? He's damn right. I'm in his hands now, he's got his built-in sat-nav on. I'll tell you, the thing that bike's got on it, it might as well be a car. Oh, talk about luxury on two wheels. He absolutely loves it. You can tell that every time he gets off it and he just looks at it like he's in nerve. <laughs> I do love this target.
me on my way home. It was nice to catch up with family. It's my auntie, me, my cousin and his kids. We all love buddy to bits. Left me dad there. He's going to spend the evening with them. It's uh, probably a good two hours, 45, three hours for me to home. Not sure. Uh, Oh, looking very good up there, isn't it? So much for there for continuous sunshine all day across the UK. Bloody weather, men. But no, I tell you what, what a cracking day. It was so good to ride with me dad. It really was. And uh, it's been a long time coming, but it was definitely worth the wait. So, uh, yeah, he's staying there in the evening. And then tomorrow he's, uh, he's setting off up to... Uh, Blackpool to see my mum's brother uh, and then he's got a few more stops on the way back down so I won't see him again now till Friday and uh, you can see he's in his element bless him I think he's so glad that he chose to come on his bike and uh, you're never too old that's for sure you're never too old to have fun on two wheels so, thank you very much for clicking on this video, and uh, thank you very much to the subscribers, old and new, that have stuck with us, it's most appreciated. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, show some love, and we'll catch you on the next one.